Hey guys. Why? I got shit to do. What the fuck are you talking about? What? There ain't nobody in there. Well, then don't go in there. Cra crazy kids. They swear they see Slenderman. I told I was just telling you in the last video. I got crazy, crazy kids in my neighborhood nowadays. They all believe in these ghosts. And they're all like, we're going to go find Pennywise down the sewer. It's like... I saw it, but when I saw it, A, I was a little older by the time I ever saw it, but, but B, when I was a kid, I, there was no way in hell I was going to go chasing after some crazy clown that lived in a sewer. The eight children? Like, okay. I think what it is is because all these movies are coming out nowadays, and they all have children actors as the heroes, and all these kids are like, oh man, I can go out and I can kill killer clowns, because I'm a kid. I don't know. But any losers, I am on my way to the farm. And I could have listened to music on my way out there, but not really super bothered by it. I'm alright by recording a video. Man. This person, okay, okay. We might be lucky. Oh, we can do it. I'm gonna do it. Almost hit that person. Not on purpose, but they were, they were making that corner a little sharp. Really windy. It is a nice, beautiful day today in Ohio like going to be like 80 some degrees it's uh it's a nice sunny day we've been having nothing but rain for the last like forever and so it's nice to actually have a little bit of something else um, but like a lot of miles. I'm actually, last night I spent fuck, like six hours, six or more hours putting a U joint into my buddy's diesel truck. Uh, it was a rough night. I didn't eat all night, so by the time I got home, I was fucking starving. I had a headache from hell. And, uh, By the time I ate, by the time I got home, and then by the time I ate, it was 11:30. Ended up curling up on my couch and passing out, like not even realizing that that's what I was doing. And then uh, I woke up at three in the morning. God, that thing rattles a lot. Woke up at three in the morning on my couch still, like, oh shit, I passed out on my couch at 3 in the morning, so I just got up, ate some food, and went to bed, but, um, this will probably be the longest trip I've ever put on this truck so far, so I'm a little nervous, to be completely honest, because A, I'm completely alone, B, I'm driving about 20 minutes, away from my house, um, so yeah, hopefully everything goes good, and we don't have to worry about nothing, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine, um, she does have some issues with her, so, you know, I got to be kind of careful with her, and I need to make sure to not drive her too much, too far, more than she needs to, because, you know, she is, like I said, she does have some problems. This video is probably going to be a tad bit longer than the normal 10 minute, even though the last two videos have been like 12 minutes, regardless. It's probably going to be a little longer due to the fact that I do have a longer trip to make. 
and one of the roads that I'm currently heading to at the current second to get to happens to be a road that I'm probably not going to be able to go very fast on. Not that, I mean, I think it's like a 45 normally, but um, because with the suspension being messed up on this truck, it's like a very bad road. At least it was the last time I was on it, so I'm going to assume it probably hasn't changed. Everybody's outside today, either going places or out doing yard work or all kinds of stuff. Whatever they can to be outside in this beautiful weather, because if the forecast for Ohio stays the way it's supposed to be, we're going to be fucking underwater for the next, like, month. We're supposed to have rain, just rain, more rain, and more rain, and more rain, and more rain. Just when you think the rain was done, more rain, rain comes. Is this person slowing down to turn, or are they just slowing down in general? Oh. Alright, here we are on my favoriteest road of all time. It's actually really fucked up, only because I've talked about this many times, and nor do I want to get into it at the current moment, but... My, one of my best friends killed himself on this road, which, like I said, that's the part that sounds super fucked up, but this road had good meaning to me with him prior to him, unfortunately, deciding to take his own life, and I like to drive this road from time to time, kind of reminisce in my own head, the fun times of being in high school and coming out the Hatfield Road with my buddies, going fish and stuff like that, but, wow, I didn't really think of this, that it's not really, a, I'm worried about it now, because most of the water is fucking gone down, but you can tell all of this was completely flooded, and I completely forgot that Hatfield is surrounded by a whole bunch of fucking lakes, and the road is covered with, like, debris from all the water that was standing here. Oh, here comes the bumpy part. Oh. Wow. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. Not really one too bad. I've definitely had worse. Oh, the water's still technically to the road, but it's not across it. But, like, goddamn, dude. I, like, just completely forgot about the fact that this, this area even flooded. nice to come out here when it was actually flooded and see how bad it was. It's actually funny because there's a sign that pass back there. Obviously you see everything that's going by that way. You can't see what I can see on the, on the right side of the vehicle. But there was a sign that said the speed I'm supposed to do around this corner that we're about to do is supposed to be 6 miles per hour. I'm doing 15, and this feels really slow to do 15 around that corner, let alone to have thought about doing 6. But, yet again, we're going to have to do another slowdown because there is another nasty set of railroad tracks. Same set of railroad tracks we crossed over just a second ago, but these are a little farther down. And just as nasty. Oh, oh, oh. You're wondering why the phone is also on a crooked angle. That would be due to the fact that, um, due to the fact that my phone thing, my mount broke. Not really sure how it broke, but it broke. So, the thing, the phone kind of just makes it fall over to its max. Um, but that kind of worked out because now it, now it gives you that nice view of outside and the nice view of this beautiful face. This bird's trying to get run over. Oh, wait. Slow down, man. They're going to 
these S curves are pretty fucking sharp. Wow. Uh, you know, in my car, it'd have been like 35, easily boop, 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 done. In this big old truck, we're going about 15, and it's like feels like it's gonna roll over even at that speed. So that's the difference from a small vehicle to a large one. And I'd still rather drive a large one. Like once you get a truck, once you once you put yourself in the in the captain's seat of a big boy vehicle, you don't want a little vehicle anymore. Oh I Oh I did a burnout. It's the first time I got the tire to spin. I didn't even mean to. But uh yeah, so I'm actually kind of 40 and 35, so I should slow down. Um, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm actually right next to where I used to work, my old job, which I kind of miss from time to time. It's weird how that works. You fucking be so sick of somewhere that it, that it, you know, brings you to fucking quit, and yet I still think about it, and I, oh, actually quite a lot, and, uh, I don't really miss much of the people, actually, Fortunately, anyways, by the time I quit, most people, a lot of people quit after me. So, uh, when this, the beginning of 2019 started, I had to go pick up my W-2. And, uh, my, so obviously I stopped to talk with, like, you know, my boss, my old boss and stuff. Should have gone, but I'm gonna wait. Should have gone. Should have. But uh, yeah. So I talked to my old boss and my old manager when I stopped to get my W-2, and realized that there's like four people working at Fast Forming that were working there when I worked there, and everybody else quit after I quit. So they had a bit of a facelift in the company. But I kind of thought maybe that might help, would have maybe helped James realize that if you promise people stuff but you don't give them it, eventually they're going to leave. 55, baby, let's go. company had changed a lot, to be honest. It was pretty impressive uh, how much shit they had added after I left. It kind of made me laugh at first because it made me realize, like, well, of course they didn't give any of the money to the employees, and instead they all, they went out and bought a whole bunch of fucking machinery. But, um, they got, like, automatic machines. So, like, well, they have one automatic machine, though. I guess actually the way I was going to explain it was going to sound really dumb, but the original machine that I used that I learned how to work on when I worked there was like a big old flat piece of metal that you stick a piece of plastic onto. It pulls itself into the machine and uh, it heats itself up and then it comes back out the front where you loaded it a piece of, uh, and then a tool comes up through it and forms around it, and then that's how you make your part, but this machine is like a machine that's got a whole bunch of different things you can clamp, uh, you can clamp plastic into, you just keep reloading it as it spins around, and it goes through and makes like, you know, like 15 formed parts every, you know, two minutes in comparison to say, one part every two minutes that we were doing originally. So it's a very large, very, very large machine. It does a lot of, don't go off the road truck. It does a lot of, uh, a lot of work all at once, but, um, but yeah, I just, I just kind of froze there because my truck seemed like it was listing to the right pretty heavily. 
I mean, it was doing that prior to leaving. But, see, I don't know. It's not really anymore. I, it could have just been the, the already listing to the right that it had, and I'm just freaking out because I hit the rumble strips on the far right side. But, uh, I had this, like, point, I guess. I, I, I don't really know the mileage or anything to be, like, for sure, but I'm assuming I'm about exactly halfway from home into the farm. So... Want to make sure she's okay. Pay attention to my temperature gauge a lot too because my uh, um, my overflow tank doesn't have a cap, and I don't have any form of like splashy residue anywhere that would make me feel like it looks like it's spilling out somewhere. But also, you know. I should probably get a cap for it. Now you're just going to see a lot of farmland. I mean, you'll see houses intermittent in between. But we're, we went, in, you know, it's that's the beautiful thing about where I live now. Um, it's the fact of, like, where I live, I'm in the middle of the city. And I got, like, you know, a goddamn mall inside of my goddamn town, you know. Like, it's that big of a fucking town or city. But I can drive 20 minutes, not... Well, I can drive 10 minutes south and be in rural farms and in the countryside, which is where I'd rather be. I'd rather be here than dealing with fucking city bullshit. But we deal with what we get in life. I one day will hopefully get out here. Either out here or just somewhere out in the out in the farm field in general. Would you guys still watch me? Would you watch me if I was a farmer, if I spent my days plowing fields and raising cattle and doing that? That's my dream in life. It's a very simple dream. Like, just put me in a fucking farm, for Christ's sakes. But the problem is, you need money. And I don't have money. You know, and I, I, I really would like it if you could get, like, a fucking grant from, like, the government... But I think if you do something like that, then, like, legitimately the government owns your shit. So, like, if, if you're like, I'm going to grow corn, and the government's like, yeah, that's cool, here's a here's a, a, a thing, or whatever, or whatever, I just called it, I completely forgot already, but um, a grant. Here's a grant from the government to start your own corn farm for the government. Like, all right, that'd be dope. Then you start farming it. I'm not saying the government would do this, so this is exactly how it goes. But just to say, the government then, like, five years later, is like, you know, fuck corn. We want you to grow us potatoes. You don't have a say, I don't think. I don't think you have the ability to be like, no, bastards, I'm going to keep, keep growing corn. I think that at that point, the government owns you, and they were like, no, motherfucker, you grow potatoes, you get the fuck out. So that's, that's that. That's what I feel about it. That. I know there's such a thing in this world as being able to get a loan from the government. I think it's actually considered a USDA loan. Could be wrong on that, but um, but it, for like farmers can get those and shit like that for for starting off farms and stuff. But like I said, I uh, okay, dude. You know, I know I'm driving on both sides of the road, but fucking Christ, dude. Why just a oh, fucking wash? Oh, yeah, that makes a whole lot of fucking sense. This fucking, I thought it was a dude. It was a woman. And I'm not trying to be mean against you women, but she was looking in the rearview mirror doing her goddamn makeup. Hey, there's a parachuter literally landing on the ground right there. It's dope. There's a, the farm's like right over here, like probably like three minutes away. And there's a airport right over here. Like we literally just passed it. And it's where they do the skydiving at here in Wayne County. So if you've ever been out to um, just south of Ripon in this general area, my grandpa's farm was, well, I mean, it's not, it's my dad's farm now, but my grandpa's farm is what I call it because naturally it's where I went to go see my grandparents as a kid. So it's my grandpa's farm. It's 
just like right over here. And so my entire childhood was watching people jump out of airplanes and landing because that's what they do. So it's cool to look over and see a parachuter land. There was just some real, real homebred children sitting back there holding basketballs, just sitting there, probably bored out of their minds, like, I wish I had something to do with my life, and I understand, I'm doing 40, I could be doing like 55, I think is the speed limit, but the truck seems to be coasting pretty nicely at 40, so, probably just keep doing that, plus like I said, we're, we're literally almost here already, or already, but we're almost here, so, I'll probably just end the video now. I don't know. It's been like 20 minutes. Yeah, 21 minutes. 21 minutes. So, I'm not even sure how many of you guys are still stuck around for the end. But if you did, I appreciate all of you guys. If you guys like the video, a like would be much appreciated. If you're new to the channel, you should subscribe to keep up with awesome content. If you're our part of the channel, you can share the video on your social media platforms, show other people how awesome I am and how much you enjoy listening to my retarded commentary. There's a there's a root ball in the middle of a cornfield. You might have even seen it on there. It was just playing out there. But whatever. And I'll see you guys for the next one. That I won't guarantee will be soon. But I won't guarantee won't be soon, if that makes sense. I just don't know when I'm making videos anymore. I've done it now for a couple days. It's been fun. I've enjoyed it again. But I just don't know if it's going to be a, all the time still or what. We'll figure it out together because I love you and I don't want to let you go that easy. Bye, guys.